Hello and welcome, my name is Jonathan Ringer and today I'm going to go over how to upgrade your kernel version within Nixos. Um, so the first thing that you would like to do is open up your configuration file and how you would do this is uh, open, uh, go to Etsy Nixos configuration. Inside of configuration uh, you'll look for a Linux packages. Here I have my kernel packages set to uh, 5.6. Uh, if this line isn't present uh, you can always add it. Um, a good resource to look up this type of information is manconfiguration.nix. This should be installed automatically if you're running Nixos uh, natively. And here you'll just look for like uh, boot um, kernel. Let me make this a little bit more descript. Uh, then, then you'll see that um, we'll we'll get to this option, uh, and, you can, and you can read what the default and what a, what the examples are. Uh, to look at what available versions there are within your Nix channel. Uh, you can always open up the REPL. Uh, you can load your Nix packages into the REPL and then you can look uh, at your uh, Linux packages and you can see here I have like 4, 14, 19, uh, all the way up to 5.17 um, and today I'll be going to 5.17. So here, uh, let's change this to 7. Save pseudo nixos rebuild. Uh, we can do boot or switch. Uh, the difference between the two is that switch will look at uh, all of the unit files that are created for like systemd and then if it's able to it will try to uh, upgrade them to the new version uh, with all of your new settings uh, and then roll them over. Uh, unfortunately for the kernel itself it's not able to do that while you're running the pre-existing kernel uh, so uh, in this particular instance boot or switch doesn't really matter. Uh, so I'll just run boot. Uh, I ran this before so normally this would take a lot longer to load um, but then you'll see that we're done uh, and then if I go into my boot entries or loader entries uh, look at the last generation, you'll see that it is now uh, going to kernel 5.7, uh, which is great. And um, before I end the video though, uh, one thing that I would like to say about the Linux packages, like why do they exist? Uh, the Linux packages exist uh, because there are a lot of kernel modules that are all built uh, respective to a given kernel version. So here you can see like ZFS. Uh, if I were to uh, it enable something like ZFS, uh, how does it know which Linux kernel version and then also which package to build this for? Um, well, it's going to look at the Linux packages here. And so then this is um, kind of how your system uh, is able to reference kernel modules when it needs it. Um, yeah, so that's the majority of what you need to know about uh, doing kernel upgrades within Nix packages, and hope to see you around.